we're about to take you on a magical journey below the streets of San Francisco. Like a, like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, but if they did illusions, were a lot taller, and if they performed in a beautiful speakeasy. That makes sense, right? I'm not really selling it very well, so let's just bring in illusionist Kevin Blake, who has shows at the Palace Theater. I recently went to your show, Kevin, with my husband, who was a kid magician, and we both <laughs> absolutely loved it. You are fantastic. Well, thank you for saying that, and uh, I love the uh, I love the comparison. I've never thought of myself as sort of like a ninja turtle, but now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be telling my wife that I am definitely one. I mean, either you're a ninja turtle or you're a splinter, and both are good <laughs> options. Yeah, well, it's nice to nice to nice to see you. <laughs> you too. Okay, so it starts with just the experience of going underground. So when I when I say that, I mean it. It is basically underneath Chinatown North Beach at what. It looks like it's a shop clock from the outside, but it's actually this gorgeous, there you see, Joe's Clock Shop. It is this gorgeous speakeasy way below the ground. And once you get inside after going through several rooms and these beautiful bartenders are making these wonderful drinks, then you go into this theater and then you see Kevin. Whoa. Kevin, I mean, truly, it's like a bespoke experience if I knew what the word bespoke meant, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> When yeah, did you... I'm so glad you got to see it. Yeah, oh no, it's fantastic. How did you come up with this concept? Because it's really different from, I think, any magic show anyone's seen before. Yeah, well, it was it was really a partnership with uh, Boxcar Theater, uh, my producer, and the uh, the venue operator. They were doing a show called The Speakeasy in the Space a couple of years ago, which you guys may have heard of before. Mm -hmm. It was a wonderful, uh, immersive production. And so they built the entire space for that show, but it, it's so magical in itself that it's kind of perfect for a magic show. So that's why I was so excited when, after the pandemic ended, they said, well, we're not doing our speakeasy show. Uh, do you want to do your show there? And we started with a quick run of, of 10, 10 shows, 10 nights, and then, you know, all of a sudden, uh, you know, a year and a half later, we're doing our 100th show on, uh, on Saturday. Were you also a kid magician? Oh, of course. Yeah, you'll you'll be hard pressed to find a magician who was who's an adult who wasn't a kid magician. It's not really something you get into when you're an adult necessarily, uh, but yeah, hundred percent I was. And that just became a career, which I'm sure your parents were like, huh? Yeah, they were. They were definitely they were definitely making those noises. Uh, my dad was an accountant, <laughs> so he wanted me to be an accountant. So I thought, you know, I should I should be a magician. Right, exactly. Let me do the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I understand that you may have a trick that you can show us this morning. Can I show you something? Yeah, please. Well, wonderful. I'm glad you, see my, you saw my live show, uh, Reggie, because I've got something here. That, it's not my live show, but uh, it's in my, my online show, which I've, I've been doing for the past uh, couple of years, too. That's another uh, thing that happened during the pandemic. So I got this little box here, and I'll, I'll make this quick. I have a deck of cards here. And Reggie, you saw me do one card trick in the show, but I'm going to have you, I'm gonna have you uh, be the participant this time. Ooh. I'm going to have you just choose a card. Now, instead of uh, having you pick one out or whatever, I'm going to have you just name any card. There's one rule. Uh -huh. Can't have the Ace of Hearts. That's my card. Okay, okay. Reggie? Can't have the Ace of Hearts. You can have any other card. How about the Queen so of I'm Hearts? So I'm going to bring you down to my top-down camera here. You'll see my, wow. my hands here and my little Ooh. mat. Wow, um, Reggie, cool. just go ahead and name mm -hmm. any card in the deck. Name a card, uh, not the Queen Ace of, of Hearts. Queen of Hearts, yep. Are you sure? I like, I like the Queen. You can have any card except for the Ace of Hearts. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Reggie, I'm going to mix up the cards. Give him like a couple of shuffles here. Um, Reggie, maybe, maybe one shuffle? Two shuffles? How many shuffles? How about three shuffles? Three shuffles. There's two. And here's number number three. Now, Reggie, uh, those are real shuffles, right? I mean, you're seeing this pretty close at hand. Those are real shuffles. And um, I'll give him a few real cuts here, Reggie. But it doesn't really matter what we do with the deck because you're going to make a choice. I want you to name any number between 1 and 52. And whatever number you name, that will be where your queen of hearts is. Whoa, okay, well, because of the station I work for, I have to go with lucky number seven. Lucky number seven, okay. Now, Reggie, you can change your mind if you want, but we'll stick with seven for now. Okay. I'll give you a second to change your mind. Let me just make sure I count this right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that's seven. Is that the seventh card there, Reggie? Yes, it is. Reggie, would you like to change to number eight? I would like to keep my job, so I'm gonna stick with seven. You're going to stick with seven. Reggie, you could have named literally any card. You could have said any number. You said the queen of hearts, and you said number seven. I did. Reggie, how you knew that at one position, number seven was one card, the queen of hearts. But wait, hold on, Reggie. Oh. The crazy thing is I said you could have any card except for the ace of hearts. The reason I said that, Reggie, is that you really didn't have any other choice in the deck, really, Reggie, except for the queen of hearts. Because you can see 
Every single other card in the deck is one card. My favorite card, that is of course, well, the, um, the Ace of Hearts. Reggie, that's my, uh, that's my quick little trick for you. And that I'm is so you good! <laughs> and, okay, so let me get you to explain wow. to me what it is to be a modern illusionist. Yeah, sure. Well, really, it's just trying to be an illusionist who still fools modern audiences. Uh, people are so much more informed, educated, especially in terms of edu entertainment, than they were 100 years ago. 100 years ago, you saw, you know, there was no, obviously, no YouTube, no Internet. So people have seen so much magic. They've seen so much impossible things. They can go in their phone and look on, you know, on social media and see the most incredible people doing the most incredible things, uh, you know, uh, a million times a day. So being able to keep up with that in a live uh, theater is really what it means to be a modern, modern magician, and uh, obviously to to fool people who who know too much. <laughs> yes, I, totally. And again, I was there with someone who has watched magic and loved magic all his life, and he was really blown away by your talent. And so was I, as just a total novice who just likes to be in the audience. Kevin, again, I really cannot recommend your show enough. You can get tickets right now at the Palace Theater. I would definitely get your tickets weeks in advance because it does sell out quite often. And I'm, I understand, Kevin, you have a new show that's coming up later this spring, right? Is that in April? That's right, in, uh, in May, I or believe. May. Uh, May, we have a new season uh, of the show launching. So after doing uh, the show's last uh, year and a half, uh, I figured it would be nice to do some new uh, some new illusions and come up with some new uh, new routines for for the audiences. So uh, so yeah, new show in April. Well, or you'll anyway, see in May. You're right. You're confusing see, me. You'll see me there in May. SanFranciscoMagicShow.com. This time I'm going to bring my ABC7 friends because I really just had that good of a time. Kevin, thanks so much for the magic. Thank you.